Hey guys, you're welcome back to Ezine's Kitchen. You're very welcome. If you are new here, a warm welcome to you. Okay, so on today's episode, I'll be making this yummy and crunchy, delicious cabbage sauce. This tasted amazing. So let's delve into the cooking. And to get started with this recipe, I'll be making use of two red bell pepper, one tomato, one habanero pepper, three long sweet pepper, and two white onions. I've gone ahead to cut it into big chunks. I washed thoroughly as well. And I'm gonna use my food processor to chop that roughly. If you want to have a smooth paste, please make use of your normal food blender, okay? I love when I see um, chunks of peppers while enjoying my food. And that is done. Moving on, I have my fresh cabbage here. I've gone ahead to wash that thoroughly and I'm gonna cut that into, um, not really half. I'm gonna be cutting a portion that I'll be needing for this recipe. And I'm gonna be keeping the rest, okay? So over here, I'm gonna chop that into big chunks. Feel free to cut in any size of your choice. It all depends on what you want, okay? And here I have my empty pots heating up already. I introduced my oil and I'm gonna be adding my garlic and ginger. I grated the two. And when I'm done stirring for like two minutes, I introduced my washed and deveined shrimps, okay? I'm gonna stir this shrimp for at least four to five minutes. Please do not overcook your shrimps. It's very important. This is five minutes of stir frying. I'm gonna dish everything everything out and to this same oil i'll be introducing our blended peppers and tomato i'm gonna mix everything thoroughly to combine and i'll leave that to fry for at least three to seven minutes do not fry for too long and this is seven minutes later it is done frying next i'm going to start seasoning immediately i added my chicken seasoning powder and I'm going to be adding my rosemary flakes. Make use of basil leaf if that's what you have. Next, I added my coriander powder, one seasoning cube, and salt. When I'm done adding all these ingredients, I'll introduce my fish stock. Make use of chicken stock if that's what you have. I stirred well again to combine, and I'll be adding my matched fish okay this fish is cooked already yeah i'm gonna mix it again and leave to cook for the next five minutes and while that is cooking i'll go ahead and blanch my cabbage by introducing very hot water in it i'm gonna let it sit here for at least one or two minutes and this is five minutes later our sauce is done cooking guys this smells amazing so i introduced my shrimps and green bell pepper the green bell pepper is just for the color it's just for that green effect okay so next i introduce my blanched cabbage i'm gonna stir thoroughly to combine as i'm stirring my cooker is totally off okay do not cook further do not cook further oh my god guys we are done with cooking this sauce tasted amazing very crunchy and yummy give it a try and let me know what you think yeah so i want to say a very big thank you for staying with me throughout this episode i truly appreciate until i come your way next time remain blessed i love you Bye bye